driverless cars have hit the streets, at least in downtown Las Vegas. We thank you for staying with us here at 4.30. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Kirsten Joyce. A local company called Halo Car turned the keys over to, well, no one last week. <laughs> 8 News Now reporter Brian Will, though, takes us along for a ride as we find out more about the future. Called crazy a lot? Oh my God, yes, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Anand Nanakumar started Halo Car here in Las Vegas with one idea. We said instead of buying a car, what if you just push a button, the car just shows up to you, you drive how much ever you want, when you're done, you don't have to worry about parking, you don't have to worry about charging, maintenance, none of that car is gone. Now, four years later, his company of 35 employees with a fleet of 20 cars is ready to deliver a car to you. Once you book a car, it shows up a few minutes later without a driver in the front seat. But there is an operator remotely operating it back at their headquarters, but allows you to jump right in and take the car. The way we get a car to a consumer is where we've been working on very heavily. That is, there are two ways that we deliver a car to a customer. All over Southern Nevada, as one of our agents manually drives the car to you. Only in downtown, we're doing full driverless. That means remotely piloted vehicle. The DMV in Nevada has given Halo Car the first permit in the world to launch a fleet like this, with plans to expand the service to the rest of the valley and beyond. I saw one the other day, and I was like, Oh my God, there's no one in this car. I don't know, I guess I'd be good with it until someone like gets in a car accident. As for safety, no one is allowed in the car when it is remotely operating. And for now, another Halo car with a driver follows along. Whether we're remotely driving it or when a customer is inside, everything is fully covered end to end. And we have specifically engineered the vehicle to be extremely safe. In a lot of reasons, if you think about a remote pilot, they have much better visibility than yourself sitting inside the car. The average rate to book the car starts at $12 an hour for this all-electric fleet. They hope to alleviate the need for parking spaces and allow cities to be more walkable with this technology. As for what he's hearing about his company after this recent announcement? No investor wanted to fund me. I just thought that this is a dumb idea. There's no chance they'll make it work. Um, and then now they're all chasing us. Well, that's what happens when you're a visionary, right? The operators behind these remotely operated cars go through hours of training, we're told, before taking one of those cars onto the city streets. Oversight on this technology, though, is still in development.